means from a protocol perspective, again, the sky's kind of the limit. Because we are primary resolution agnostic from the beginning, it's all about packetizing how we're going to move content from A to B. Well, we're doing that now on existing gigabit networks because that's what's around. Now we're seeing more on the higher end side, the 2.5G, the 5G, the 10G, the 50G, all this stuff like that. Great, now we have a much bigger pipe to play in. Now we can expand quite a bit. It's like NDI 6, we've got the 10-bit color deck, we've got HDR. We can send a larger packet-sized product down that pipe because that pipe's a whole lot bigger now. So we can leverage larger expandable networks, we can put more stuff down. Um, NHK has been experimenting with 16K stuff for a long, long time. I know they've been doing stuff with NDI. There's the networks just haven't been there to do it yet. Um, I know Arista has some higher end stuff, and they have 500, you know, even higher speed count networks that they're getting with. So that's where the sky's kind of the limit. Once you open up that pipe, you can do a whole lot more. And again, that's on the terrestrial side. You're going down fiber, you're going down the copper. You're not going to go up <laughs> through the air with a lot of this stuff. Um, just like the transmission, you're not going to broadcast, actually, really. There's a few transmitters that probably could, but you're cooking every bird that flies in front of it. It's because you require so much antenna power to get that high signal from one location to another. So it's going to be across fiber, it's going to be across stream. That's how we get to the higher resolution stuff. And, and one of the really cool things is, is that since it carries metadata and it also has a control mechanism to it, it really is kind of limit. I mean, it's like mm -hmm. you could put a lot of stuff in that. So you have that one cable instead of having to have multiple cables or multiple devices. You have the one connection. Yeah. And if you think about SRT is you have to have a, a send and receive on every single signal. All that bandwidth adds up. Then yeah, I can bust those signals. So I have one connection and I can pack a whole lot of stuff down and, and transmit that way. So that allows that flexibility. I get a bigger pipe, I can put more signals down, I can still have one connection.